Let's talk about this movie with no Sydney, but first, hello, and welcome to the show. That sounded pretty good. So, Scream VI! Oh, great. Okay. Killer again. Hello. Ghostface, we've already done this before. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I've already told you. I know you're in the closet, I can hear you breathing. Okay, I'm hanging up. Bye! All right, where were we? Um, Scream VI. There's some things to talk about. So this was a very thrilling, action-packed movie. Uh, this had me on the edge of my seat. I was, huh, huh. That's kind of some of my reactions there. Everyone returns, except for Sydney, of course. And I do mention that in there. Uh, she took Mark and the kids to safety, which I really want to see that. I hope in the Scream 7, which is greenlit now, that we do get to see... Patrick Dempsey back as Mark, because we haven't seen that since the fourth movie. Nope, third movie. Because we haven't seen that since the third movie. So it'd be really great to see him return, especially the kids too, not that they have kids. We haven't got to see that. So it'd be nice to go back and we get to see Sydney living happy and see the return of those characters. There's many scenes that have similarities to Scream 2, so it's definitely a requel. Very repetitive. To Scream 2, a death similar to CeCe's, where the, above the ladder, and Ghostface shakes the ladder, and she falls to her death. Similar to CeCe, how she gets thrown off the balcony. The love interest is innocent. It even has the same motive as Scream 2, where that was revenge for Billy, this one's revenge for Richie. His dad gets revenge for him. Well, tries to. And then Mrs. Loomis, getting revenge, also tried to, for Billy. Nobody major died? There's a lot of stabbings. They, they, they tease this a lot, especially with Mindy. She lost a lot of blood in this movie. I'm surprised she didn't even lie. Especially Chad. I'm surprised he's still alive here. I thought he was like goner for sure right there. He got stabbed so many times. And that seemed like it was the heart, the chest. I don't even know how he's still alive. That was a surprise there. They're like playing with us like Dewey over here where faked his death and surprise fake out death. Like they said, we got a live one here. I'm like, there's no way that's Chad. Like right there in the cinema, I said, no way. And Chad just comes out on the stretcher. I thought they were really considering biting the dust for Gale. Especially playing with the idea that the, the major characters could die now. And Gale finally got her phone call. Yeah, sorry to you guys wanting Stu back. Maybe, maybe in the future. Maybe when Sydney comes back. Maybe. But sorry you guys didn't get Stu. It's, it's not so fun without him. Dewey was talked about quite a bit in this, and that just hurt. But hearing that ghost face just talk about Dewey, I really just wanted to, you know, I want to go in that movie and I'm hunting him down myself too. I'm joining you. Just, you don't talk about Dewey! Mm -mm. Yeah, so, that, that hurt. Got me right here. Miss you, Dewey. I wanted to see more of Gail's show. We didn't really get to see that. Uh, or the book. I, I guess she didn't write the book about Dewey. She wrote the Ghostface Killers, even though she said she's not going to in the last movie. But, you know, it's Gail. Of course, she's going to profit on the Killers of Ghostface. Of course, she's going to. It was a great opportunity. I still want the book of Dewey, though. We need that. The beginning is something different, you know, where we get the opening kill, some R weaving. I knew they were going to do that. And that just confirmed it, seeing her in the opening scene. I'm like, oh, there it is. Okay. Seeing her death and then... The killer takes off the ghost face mask. That was something different. You get a reveal earlier in the movie, and then that other killer kills that killer. It's uh, that was creative. The shrine was cool to see, especially all the pictures of the previous killers. Oh, this is definitely not a movie if you haven't seen the other ones. Uh, Screen Five you can kind of get away with, kind of only spoiled the first one. Uh, but this is definitely not one if you haven't seen the rest of the series, because you will get spoiled for the whole franchise. The shrine was cool to see, all the relics of the past movies. Uh, but it felt like something that would be great for a finale movie. That would have been great for the final movie to wrap up the whole franchise. You got everything from it in this one movie. But it felt like that could have been for a final movie, having the shrine idea. 
that's pretty much it for my review. I liked it. It's very thrilling. Uh, just a little repetitive at the, the the end, getting revenge for Richie. Don't you know history repeats itself? So, yeah, it definitely is a requel of Scream 2. Oh, Randy was also mentioned a little bit, though. No, yeah, hearing Randy talk about Randy and Dewey's death kind of you know, hurt. Still hurts. I love the movie, and there's very there's good scenes to it, and some funny scenes too. Gail gets punched again. I like how she like dodged the first one. That was some kind of nostalgic fan service there. We haven't seen that in a while. And Gail's boyfriend, or whatever, dude, uh, we didn't get to see much of him. I was wondering what that is, uh, who he was. Uh, first time I saw him, like, who are you? You're not Dewey. What are you? Uh, and, then, and then he dies as soon as we kind of get to even meet him. So he was just there. Just another kill for the count. Killers didn't really surprise me all that much. Especially when Mindy's playing with the idea the whole time that Ethan, I don't think that was his name, Ethan is the ghost face. Turns out he actually was. was like, oh, okay. It seemed obvious because, you know, she's saying it was him. So, I was like, okay, maybe that, it can't be him, but it turns out it was him. It didn't really surprise me. You're taking off the mask and just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. So, it wasn't like the other one's like, oh, what? You did it? So, yeah, but overall, it was a good movie. Uh, at the end, it was the same motive. Just revenge, and really, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Not really, um, something different, but overall, good movie. I liked it. What did you think? Put it down in the comments below. Always open for discussion. And instead of making a whole other ranking, because I think my thoughts are about the same on the first four movies, um, I'll just say it now. So you get a little bonus plus the updating ranking instead of making a whole other video. Uh, I have changed my thoughts, so number five would be, or, well, six movies at this point. Number six would be Scream 5. Uh, I originally had that in three. You can go check it out, the original ranking video. I originally had that in three, but now I'm looking back at it. There's little things I don't like about five. Like, it was cool to see it back again, but now, since it's, it's died down a little bit, and I'm, the excitingness of having another Scream movie is out. I didn't like how they killed Judy. You know, they, she came back and just be killed. It would have been nice to see her in this movie uh, with Kirby. Then you have the two Scream 4 characters meeting again. Uh, you know, that should have happened. So that's why I changed my ranking to Scream 5 as the sixth spot. Fifth spot would be this movie, Scream 6. And then from there on, it's 3, 2, 1. So 5, 6, 3, 2, 1 is my new ranking. I'll probably put a comment down in that other the ranking video saying that I changed my views and things on it. So because at least in Screen Three you have Dewey. Well, in Five you had it, but they killed him. So whatever. Still hate Amber for that. But that's it. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you. Oh, I was expecting a call. Okay, well. Alright, you can come out now. Okay. I guess I'll be heading off then. Uh, yeah, phone's turned on. Alright. See you. <laughs>